Mark Berman in Atlantic City for NJ.com. I'm here at Trump Taj Mahal. Matt Hamill. He is one of the toughest, one of the roughest, one of the most competitive people in UFC. Let me say, let me change that. Anywhere in MMA. He also is the subject of a feature length film. He's an award winning, he's won championship wrestling, and he's also been deaf from birth. And he's accomplished a lot. I want you to meet Matt the Hammer Hamill. Great to see you. Thank you, thank you for having me here. Matt, how did you get started? I mean, you, you, you've been deaf from birth. How did you get started in wrestling and then in the square in the octagon? Well, what well, happened when I was four years old, and my stepdad was a coach, and he looked at me, I was a bad boy. So the only way to give me a good boy is to put me in wrestling. You know, so, so that's how, you know, it changed my life. I've been wrestling for 33 years. Wow. Now, in the UFC, you are absolutely relentless. I just saw a, a knockout kick that, that, that was just, uh, well, it sent shivers through my body. How... <laughs> How did you learn this, and how much training did it take, and, and how do you look so good uh, having taken blows to the head? <laughs> it's, re it's required a lot of sacrifice, you know, so, but it, it won't hurt to try. So everything happened for a reason, so a lot of people think that I'm not really doing well in your thing, but I proved them wrong, you know, so I just want to be in the top 10 fighters in the world. What happened is when I got in the ring, I just want to be myself, you know, and to the opponent. I know it's not going to be easy, but I'm lucky and I have a reckoning background that really helped me train tickets to MMA. You know, so I have a good balance and everything. So now I'm really comfortable with what I'm doing. Who was your toughest opponent? <sighs> That's a good question. That everyone's just toughen, but you have to understand if you watch me fight, I have always been the underdog. You know, every opponent's the toughest one. You know, so, and like I said, it's nothing really easy. <laughs> How did you become the subject of a feature film, The Hammer, which is playing right now? Okay. It happened uh, five years ago, and um, the movie producer, Evan and Joe, just told me I was involved in UFC reality show every Wednesday night on Spice Channel. And they thought, oh, there's a deaf fighter in the show. I want to make a movie about it. He's like, mm -hmm. So, balls rolling from there, the movie producer, he came over and seen me, we had a long interview. But that movie, it took us six years, six years, we had to change the script, you know, just want to make it something right. It's not, it's not about money, you know, so I just want, you know, do the right for my family. And so they changed it, changed it, changed it, changed it. And then overall, I'm just really happy. So, we got it moving good. And you have a daughter as well. Yes, yes, I have a daughter, 10 years old. She'll be, she'll be 11, she's summer 11. You know, so she, she's very um, real smart, you know, so she's more like a smart aleck sometimes, but she'd like to go on ATV around. I live in the uh, country in Yulika, so she's just really, you know, a great girl. But she's the one that wants me back and fighting. Oh, she is? Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, she likes seeing dad on TV, that's what it is. Yes, yeah, but she's very, very supportive, you know, so I'm just, you know, being real blessed to have a wonderful daughter. <laughs> In UFC, let's go back to that for one second. How do you communicate? How do they communicate with you in the ring? And how do you uh, comprehend and get all the information you need to have to be the competitor that you are? That's a good question, you know, so I'm in... So it's nothing more, you know, so I can't hear the coach in the corner. It's just like a regular tournament. I will never hear the coach in the corner. So what we do before the fight or before the game of hell, you know, so I would go review the game plans in the locker room or, or review it in, when I'm training. So all it's in my mind. So once I'm in the cage lock up, I'm not, you know, looking at anyone. There's only one person. It's an opponent, so I'm going to have a fight, so I can't know what to do, whatever, so I handle it pretty well. You know, it's hard because you have to be hearing in your head your coach saying to you, all right, make him tap out, make him tap out, all right, give it to you. Yeah. Is that what's always in your head when you're fighting? You have to, you have, to have this inside of you all the time. Well, if, you, if you're in my shoe, if you become really deaf, 
you know what's going on. I can't know people's claiming I can concentrate on anything. It doesn't matter if it's 200,000 people's claim, claim, I can't know nothing. I'm just walking, walking. It's like I'm under the water. No sound, no nothing. Nothing can nervous, nothing. It's getting my heart on fire. It's hammer time. It's certainly hammer time. That's right, baby. He is a fierce yeah. competitor. Look for him in UFC. Check out the movie The Hammer. This is Mark Berman in Atlantic City at Trump Taj Mahal with Matt the Hammer Hamill.